So I'm here with Rachel and she's from RICS, which is a membership organization. Um, and Rachel is one of the audience insights specialists. So Rachel, as an organization with so much history, how did you traditionally understand your members? Um, so traditionally, we've always used our uh, biannual member survey um, to um, find out how members are feeling and what they're thinking. Um, and that's typically been done by a third party agency um, and has really been based around some core KPIs and metrics. Um, I think that the challenge for us moving into the future was really understanding what our members were thinking and feeling um, and being able to get more insight out of the open ended comments that were in the survey. So thanks for telling me a bit about how you used to understand your members, but in recent history, how has that changed? How do you currently understand your members and what would you say are the main challenges as well? Um, so the big change for us is moving from a, a very KPI number metric system um, to one where we can allow members to tell us more free text about how they're thinking and feeling. Um, it's a big change for us. It gives the opportunity for members to tell us what they're thinking rather than us measuring what we care about. Um, the challenge with open ended comments, of course, is actually trying to get you something useful out of it and the time it takes to analyse it. Uh, to put it into perspective, last year we got over 10,000. And, um, survey responses and you just realistically can't sit down and, and manually code that yourself um, mm -hmm. so that's why we've started to reach out and, and work with organizations like Relative Insight to help us understand and get the most insight out of our survey data. Um, so lastly have you turned all these insights into life and what have you been able to actually do with the data? Um, okay, so the, I mean, the really useful thing for us is, is understanding how our different audience groups think and feel. Um, and it's um, by and large, this, the common themes will run through all our groups. But actually, when we're looking at our survey response data, um, we do have had satisfied members and we do have dissatisfied members and understanding with the differences between those two groups um, really helps us then understand how we can deliver a better service to our members and, and improve member engagement. So using relative insight and um, we very quickly saw there was a real difference between our UK members um, and our APAC members. Um, so whilst um, their feedback was along similar lines, being able to use relative, in, relative insight helped us pick out what the differences were between those groups and, and why was this group happier than the other group. And a lot of it is around to do with member engagement um, and support on the ground. So using that information, we've then been able to, to change the, the structure in our organisation and in our offering um, on the ground for members. Perfect. Thank you.